Namaste. Let's start today in tabletop position or force. When you get there, open the hands slightly wider than the shoulders, tuck the toes, and lift the hips up to a downward facing dog. Feel free to walk the dog, bending one knee and the other. On the next inhale, lift the right leg high parallel to the mat. Exhale, step it to the front, opening the right knee to the side and sliding the right foot to the left side. Lower the left knee and scoot the left leg a little bit to the back. Inhale, straighten the spine and exhale, stay here on the fingertips or palms. Or if you're ready for a deeper stretch, you can lower the elbows to the ground. If you have a block, these can go underneath the elbows or the forehead like a sturdy pillow. Whatever variation you choose, just make sure that you're not feeling any sharp pain on the knees and the hips are even and pointing forwards. Check if you're collapsing on the right hip. If you are, then you might want to place a block or a bolster to bring the earth closer to the right thigh. Once you've found your place, Close the eyes and begin to unite with your breath. Take a moment here to arrive physically and mentally on the mat. And here we are on our yoga mats. I salute you for rolling out the mat even if we're only here for just 20 minutes. Most of us don't have an hour or 90 minutes every day for a yoga practice, but even 20 or 25 minutes is great for the body and the mind. Big things could happen when small things stack up through time. In yin yoga, that means the two minutes that we will spend holding each pose, they add up to open our deeper tissues or the fascia. Slowing down, lengthening and deepening the breath for 20 minutes oxygenates the blood and strengthens the digestive system and the respiratory system while reducing stress and lowering our blood pressure. Let's take one more cycle of breath here. On the next inhale, push yourself up onto the palms. Lean onto your right hip and swing the left leg to the front. You can either come onto a fire log pose by stacking the right leg on top of the left, or if you're in with me for a gentler version, simply place the right leg in front of the left for an easy pose. Inhale, extend the arms to the sky. Exhale, fold to your own perfect degree. You can rest the palms, the elbows, or the forehead on top of a block. Make sure that the sit bones are glued to the earth and that you're enjoying the yummy stretch on the right outer hip. Close the eyes and check what goes on in your mind. If you're starting to float away to work, errands, or problems, gently acknowledge these thoughts and let them pass like clouds on the sky. Return to the sound of your breath and permit yourself to be free of any thoughts throughout this practice. Let's ease out of the pose by gently crawling back up. Swing the legs to one side and we'll meet in all fours. When you get there, walk the hands wider than your shoulders, lift the hips up for down dog. Take a moment here to walk the dog out. Now inhale, lift the left leg high to the sky. Exhale, set it in front of the mat for swan pose on this side. 
with the fingertips as your support and the hips level inhale straight in the back and exhale either stay here or you can come down to your own variation notice what's different on the side if it's tighter than the right side which is my case you can bring the block higher up the elbows or the forehead close the eyes if it feels all right Focus the mind on the breath and on the sensation that you're feeling on the left hip. Lick the lips and check if you're holding any tension on your face, between the eyebrows, the cheeks, or the jaws. In some ways, this practice embodies simplicity, patience, and compassion, three of the most important treasures according to Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu. By keeping things simple, we return to the source of our being. By practicing patience, we accord with the way things are. By listening to our bodies and being compassionate to ourselves, we can reconcile our beings in the world. If you were down on the ground, slowly crawl back up, this time leaning onto the left hip and swinging the right leg to the front. You can either come into a fire log pose by stacking the left leg on top of the right or take an easy pose with the left leg right in front of the right. Inhale, extend the arms to the sky. Exhale, let gravity take your torso down to your own sweet degree. Feel free to use a block here for under the elbows or the forehead. Close the eyes and see how your mood is, see if anything is shifting right now. If your mind has wandered off, take this opportunity to re-land and to re-arrive on the mat. Like our mood, our bodies can feel different every day, which is why it's important to take time to listen to what is going on with yourself, not only on the outside, but also on the inside. Slowly unravel from the pose and extend both legs straight out in front, shimmy and shake to release from any tension. We're coming into caterpillar pose, so inhale, extend the arms to the sky and exhale, cascade the torso down. We want to make sure that the sit bones are flushed with the mat. The hands can grab onto the toes, the feet, the shins, your pants, or they can rest anywhere that feels comfortable. Allow the back to round as you close the eyes and return to the sound of the breath. If the hamstrings are a little bit on the tighter side today, you can give a generous bend to the knees. Since we're holding each pose for around 2 minutes, you want to make sure that you're around 50 to 60% of your maximum capacity with each of these stretches. 
The fascia takes time to open and requires our minds to be calm and relaxed. Jamming your way through will only cause an adverse effect of contracting the muscles as our nervous system gets alerted. Let's undo the pose, swing the legs to one side, and come back to a tabletop position. When you get there, check to see that the knees are aligned with the hips. Lower the elbows to the ground, melt the forehead down, and slowly slide the right arm towards straight with the elbow lifted. If this feels alright, you can do the same on the left arm, the elbow hovering above the ground. In this melting heart pose, Feel the whole front side of the body, the shoulders, and the chest open. There's also a slight bend in the upper and middle parts of our backs here, perfect for many of us who spend hours hunched in front of the computer and looking down on our phones. If you're looking for a deeper stretch today, you can either place the chin on the mat and look forwards or start to lower the chest to the mat. Close the eyes. See if you can sharpen the focus with each inhale and soften the face, the body, and the mind with every exhale. Pushing onto the palms, push yourself up and let's meet in tabletop position. Crawl the knees to the back a little and we'll do a couple of hip circles here, clockwise. And when you're ready, anti-clockwise. When you're satisfied, Crawl the knees to the top of the mat, cross the legs from behind, and we'll come to lie on our backs. Hug both knees to the chest, cactus the arms on both sides, or extend them like a T, and let the knees drape over to the left. As we're nearing the end of our practice, start to notice if anything has shifted. Just as the saying, a simple life as a happy life goes. I hope that this short and simple practice has brought you into a whole new dimension of calm and
bring the knees back to the center and this time allow the knees to fall onto the right side of the mat. Slowly hug both knees back to the chest. Lift the head up, lift the corners of the mouth and give yourself one big hug. Great job guys. Release everything down and we'll finish today's practice with a breathing exercise. Place one hand on top of the chest, the other on top of the belly. So make sure that you're breathing deep enough to feel the belly and chest rise and fall. Take one big inhale in through the nose and exhale out the mouth. Inhale, one, two, three, four, pause. Exhale, four, three, two, one, pause. Inhale, one, two, three, four, pause. Exhale, four, three, two, one, pause. Inhale, one, two, three, four, pause. Exhale, four, three, two, one, pause. Keep this going at your own pace, inhaling for four, pausing for four, and then exhaling for four, and then pausing again for four. Take one big inhale in through the nose and exhale out the mouth. Take the biggest breath you've taken all day, open the mouth and sigh everything out. Feel free to stay here for as long as you'd like. I hope you have a good rest of the day. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.